Tetlow, a CEO with Innovore Technologies. Yep. Uh, thanks for joining us on Australia in Space TV. No worries, thanks for having me. And we're here at uh, Southern Space uh, with the Space Industry Association of Australia. Uh, but uh, the biggest news, I suppose, of the week, uh, you launched on the uh, Falcon X uh, just recently. Falcon 9? Yes, Falcon so X. Falcon so X. Yeah, yeah. SpaceX in my mind. <laughs> uh, but yeah, how's it all going? Uh, the Canini uh, 6U CubeSat. Correct. Yes, yeah, so, no, it's, it's been going really, really well. So the launch was uh, 3.30 a.m. on Saturday morning. Yeah. Uh, we had our first pass at about 9 a.m. Uh, and they came over and we had full contact, you know, from horizon to horizon, which was great. So we got a heap of data down of what it had been doing since it was spat out of the of the launcher um, and sort of everything was nominal um, and I guess we've had uh, you know started with a huge ops team everyone in the in the office was in the office you know yeah, wanted great. to be involved in it and then you know basically everything was just sort of going nominal as we say in space uh, and then people sort of you know just went home and now everybody's just operating <laughs> it from where they usually do um, and it's going really really well so we've um, you know done all the power systems checked all of those sorts of things out batteries solar chargers all the panels are all working properly um, and now we're getting into the attitude control side of things, so just sort of, you know, getting into the next stage, GPSs, star trackers, reaction wheels, all those sorts of things are being commissioned. Um, and then obviously it's a, a bit of a process over yeah. you know, a number of weeks um, and then it'll be ready to uh, start c collecting the first images and, uh, right. and start using the payload for the first time. Well, there was a, it was quite an interesting launch, uh, with these uh, launches. I think the next one's in November, but about 100 odd satellites were part of that batch. Correct. Uh, and the, the way they were released, which which batch were you in? Were you the first ones out or yeah. the second lot? No, no, so we were very early. So it's, just, it's amazing how they, you know, sometimes they have a dedicated launch and it's got a main yes. payload and then you just have a, you know one or two satellites. But these uh, transporters are like dedicated yeah. ride share, right? And that's every Transporter 11? Is correct. That right? yeah, yeah. It was Transporter 11 and so everybody's on them. Um, <laughs> yes. and essentially, it, it was it's interesting. They go up and they said we'd be in the first batch, and I think we were about 11th or Great. so. So basically, you know, video footage. We heard them say, "Can you need deployed?" Beautiful. All that kind of thing. And then, of course, she chugs up to the next uh, orbit and then drops a whole lot more off. It's a pretty pretty impressive kind of system that holds SpaceX thing. And maybe a little bit about its size. It's a six U CubeSat yep. uh, and developed in South Australia for the South Australian uh, Space Research Centre. Yes. So basically, the South Australian government put the money up to to launch two payloads. So it was Mariota's Internet of Things payload and the SmartSat CLC have a, a hyperspectral imager so they basically came and said these two payloads need to be integrated on a spacecraft right. so we manufactured or designed manufactured integrated tested the satellite and now we're operating the spacecraft. Well I think that's probably the most important Innovor uh, so this is maybe explain a little bit about the company and the business model that you've got uh, yep. as a manufacturer. So, so I guess we're a, we're a fully vertically integrated manufacturer so instead of buying components from a uh, off the shelf from overseas and plugging them together. We actually build them from the ground up. So from bare printed circuit boards, we design the boards, we actually populate them through a manufacturing facility. Every line of software on the satellite is written by us. Wow. And it's all the systems we're talking about, the power system, the command and data handling, the power, the pointing system, so Star Trekkers, reaction wheels, Nadia sensors, all the attitude control system and, and, it's, and it's software. Um, and then also the uh, telemetry system, so basically collecting all the information from the satellite transmitting it down to the ground, obviously secure links, uh, all the ground station interactions, all that kind of thing, we, we manage all of that. So we basically have full uh, turnkey service provider, we, we basically like to call ourselves. And you mentioned you're yet to receive images or you're about to? Oh no, so the, the, the payload hasn't been commissioned yet. Got it. Uh, okay. So the first you do the bus first to make sure that you know, you've got to deploy solar panels, you've got to you know, check that the, the pointing's all stable and get everything ready for the, the imager, yep. and then you turn the image on and, and sort of start checking it out. So the bus always goes first, um, so you obviously want to, the most important things is power and communication. Yep. So that's the first thing that you look and at. And you got those? Yes, so we Beautiful. got those and, now we, and they're fully commissioned as well. And now you go on to the next one, which is pointing, and then it'll be, um, you know, payloads and those sorts of things. And I'm not sure what the order of the payload is. We'll have to ask the okay. customer. And, look, and we've done a couple of interviews on Canyony. Uh, I suppose, what's the, the, the mission uh, period or the timeline for it? So, so we've got, it'll be in orbit for about five years and we've yep. got funded operations for three. Um, so I mean, I guess if it's collecting data and <laughs> performing swimmingly, well, there'll I be no cut, problem. I was exactly. say, I can't cut it off. Well, I mean, then we'll be able to sell the data, so there's no right, problem. There so I'm go. not worried okay. about that. So we get to the end of three years, you know, it, it'll be obviously that, that's what the mission requires. And then after that, I think it's it's open for discussion, and we'll be <laughs> seeing what happens when we get there. I suppose that's an important part, and that's where I was heading is the business model here. You start to sell the data. Is that openly available, uh, so, or you've so got agreements in place? Yes, I mean the state government essentially owns the data. It's their right. it's their, their data, um, and well, so Mariota owned the satellite, and the state government owned the data. Yeah. So you know, I don't think there's going to be an appetite to just be selling on the data, but it's really about 
an engagement piece. So how do we work with other partners? So now we have this really, really useful data set and we can task it to do all sorts of things all around the world. Who can we partner with? Got Obviously, it. there's already a strong relationship with the European Space Agency, which will be discussed, I'm sure, by, by uh, the SmartSat or the South Australian government. But that's just one of. Like We need to have many of them. We need to have mul multiple states. I think there's also the discussions with multiple states in Australia. So this is just really an opportunity to engage with, with other people, we have something to offer now. Usually Australia comes and says, oh, well, we've got a piece of dirt, you can do something. But now we say, we've got a space right. asset, we can collect imagery, and we can actually participate actively in these sorts of programs. So I think, you know, it's going to be a real door opener for, for, for the, the, the South Australian uh, industry in particular, but just generally in Australia, I think. We've got, we've got partners, you know, we've got a, a ground station in New South Wales. So, you know, this is a, this is a, a national uh, thing, focus around South Australia, but a national program. And yeah, just, it's, a, it's about partnerships and building, building the ecosystem and, you know, relationships. Like uh, Paul Scully Power said, said in there, yeah. you know, it's really about having partnerships that are a key thing to be, to be able to be global. And I, there was, you weren't just the only Australian satellite on that particular launch, I guess, yeah. but I think you've just highlighted the ecosystem and the partnerships involved with that. It wasn't just a one player. Correct. But Innovore itself uh, has been a leader in the CubeSat sort of market here in Australia and uh, it's one to watch I suppose. Yeah, I suppose that is another thing just to finish off last question uh, your roadmap. Any, what, well, what else is in the pipeline for you? So we are actually building a, a kind of a hundred kilogram class satellite now right. and in fact there's a press release uh, just gone across my uh, my table uh, today so we're just going to uh, just, just going through that. There's a state government side of things as well so that's in partnership with a large Japanese company so we are basically uh, the roadmap is to you know the difficult part of satellites is the electronics and the software. You know, if you put it in a big around a big box, that's not really the difficult part, right? So basically, getting up to you know 100, 150 kilograms is, is going to be you know relatively easy now that everything else, all, all the systems work. So we can kind of really do, do satellites kind of in that in that size immediately. Right. Um, and now we're kind of also building out the next one to kind of to about about 500 kilos. So we basically Wonderful. want to be you know everything up to 500 kilos. We want to be able to design, build you know, operate and everything, a turnkey solution for, for whatever people need. Well, as I mentioned, definitely one to watch. Matt Tetlow, CEO with Innovore Technologies. Uh, thanks for joining us on Australia in Space TV and enjoy the rest of Southern Space here in Canberra. Thank you and thanks for having me.